Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks a lot for watching my previous videos and subscribing to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can add and delete worksheets. So to begin with, I'm going to show you if you need to add a worksheet, what it's, it's a very simple process. What you need to do, you need to just click on this plus icon, which is going to add a new sheet. And you can just rename this sheet to let's say report one. What if, if I have to create 200 reports or 300 reports, or let's say 100 reports, so am I going to do the same process again and again? Of course not. Then to overcome this or to just get rid of this, what we are going to do, we are going to write a code uh, which is actually going to pick up the predefined names of the worksheet, which we are going to write straight away in here. So instead of report one, let's say if I rename it to sheet main, uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to say add these sheets. So once I do this, I'm going to let's say add 50 reports. You can give any name uh, as per your need and as per your requirement. So here I'm going to give report 1 till report let's say 50. It's pretty simple. The code is just one or two liners, but the utility is really, really very high. So I'm just going to make it it per and I'm going to add a shape uh, and to the shape we are going to attach our code which we are going to write for this macro and we can say add all the sheets. Cool, perfect. Now as you're aware uh, we simply need to click on Alt F11 to go to the coding window. And here I'm going to type the code. Let's say sub add sheets. And the other thing which I'm going to define is a variable. Let's say i. And I'm going to create a for loop which is going to take the name of uh, the sheets which needs to be added one by one. So we are starting with i is equal to 2 till uh, uh, it was 51. Yeah. So going to increase the counter by one every time and I'm going to say next I and I'm going to simply write worksheets dot add so this code is going to add the worksheet and also I need to name the worksheet as per what we have defined in the main worksheet so I'm going to type the code for that as well so I'm going to say range Mm, which is a percent i dot value and I'm going to say so that next I already have done so it's a pretty straightforward code just one liner and but the utility which you're going to see is going to be really enormous so let's go and try to run this code so before running this code I'm going to assign the macro which we have just now written I'm going to click on OK and as you can see we have only two sheets which is sheet 1 and the other one is sheet main and all these are names of the worksheet which needs to be added and if I'm going to click on add all these sheets you will realize all 50 reports or I should say the worksheet for creating 50 reports has been created have been created sorry so that's it for the addition of the worksheets now what if there are too many worksheets which are like just now added all of them and am i going to do report one delete it's going to ask me whether you want to delete the sheet or not i'm going to click on delete so i think we are not going to do it this way what if whatever sheets which i need to delete i can again name them here and Excel is going to delete them one by one or in one go without asking for do you want to delete the sheet or not. So sounds perfect and I'm going to name it as delete following sheets. And again I'm going to let's say I just copy all of them if I need to delete all of them. So once we have copied everything we are going to paste it here let's say I've pasted it now here and as you're aware we already deleted the report one so I just need to remove it from here as well 
and we are going to say shift cell sub and now we'll go to the coding of this now as you're aware we can code it using uh, we can code within the workbook as well as we can simply go here right click on it and we can add or we can insert a module and uh, so what we could have done instead of writing the code in the workbook we could have also created one more module here to say let's say add sheets and the other module was for the delete worksheet as we have already coded the add sheet in the workbook i'm not going to write or, or redo it again uh, but in module one what we can say or the the new module what you can say we are going to write the code for deleting the workbooks so worksheet sorry not workbook so i'm going to say sub delete sheets and now what i'm going to type i'm going to define a variable let's say dim a and we are going to also run the for for loop which we did in the case of addition of the workbooks and we are going to run the for loop starting row number two till row number 50 and not 51 as we already deleted one report so so that's the reason i'm going to say next a and now what i'm going to type here is worksheets and within it i'm going to give the reference of worksheet which contains the names of the workbooks which needs to be deleted so what i'm going to type here is worksheet so under main and now i'm going to define the range which is sorry k in this case and starting k2 we have the sheet names uh, or the name which we have to delete one by one and in one go definitely uh, i'm also going to type here as worksheet dot delete cool so as you can see what i have done here i have given here the reference of the cell which contains the name of the worksheet which needs to be deleted and i can also say here as value or even if you are not writing value the code should work anyhow so so i have given here worksheet dot delete so name of the worksheet and if you are aware or let me put it this way if you are going to run this code what's going to happen the system is going to give us alert saying you are about to delete the worksheet you are going to lose your data do you want to delete this worksheet or not so of course we don't need that message to be displayed again and again uh, at least for 48 times for which the loop is going to run because we already know what all sheets you need to delete so to overcome that we are going to write a code here saying application dot display alerts is equal to uh, we are going to make it as false in one go first case because we don't want uh, the pop-up should be populated again and again and here once we are done with the deletion of the worksheet what we are going to do we are again going to type the same code but in this case from false we are going to make it true application dot display alert is equal to sorry true there we go so this completes the coding for the deletion of the worksheets now let me go back to the main sheet here uh, what we are going to do we are going to delete all these worksheets or you can just decrease the list as well so whatever sheets you wish to delete you can delete them instead of all of them but in this scenario i'm going to show you whatever sheets we have added here we are going to delete all of them as well so i'm going to insert here a shape let's say again this one i can just choose any color and i can say delete sheets and i'm going to assign our macro which we just now created for delete sheets here i'm going to click on okay now as you can see we have all these sheets which got created in the first case now i'm going to remove all of them using the automated way so let's give it a try oh sorry uh, instead of worksheet i need to say worksheets here i'm going to stop this again which is already running i'm going to minimize it back i'm going to again click on delete worksheets and now you can see we have got rid of all the extra worksheets which were not required 
so i hope that you would have enjoyed uh, this lecture and i uh, i really appreciate your time hey guys thanks a lot for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel in case you are not already subscribed you can right now click on the links appearing on your screen to subscribe or else you can also visit my channel page thanks a lot again for your love and support i am also looking forward for your valuable feedback and suggestions bye for now we'll see you in next lecture